guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be doing a full face of the jeffree star collection so i have the jeffree star morphe jeffree star iconic nudes lip glosses and the morphe jeffree star artistry palette so we're going to be reviewing this and see how they work and of course, I'll be using the Jeffree Star brushes and his mirror. So I'm going to be going in to do my face first. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any of my upcoming videos. And let's get started. So first, I'll be going in with the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream Primer. This is two in one. I did a review on my channel. It will be um, up on my channel soon. So this is an amazing two in one primer and day cream. So it looks like this. And I use a little bit. And moisturize and prime the face. This is a wonderful wonderful cream and primer i love it i will have the link in my the description box where you can go ahead and you can purchase it okay there's this little guy love it next i'm gonna go in with two foundations i'll be using the huda beauty foundation in the shade angel food and the L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum Absolute Foundation in the shade, let's see, 145 Classic Ivory, right here. Okay, I'm gonna combine them. This is a little bit darker for me and this is a bit too light. So let's see how they work together. Okay. This is the Huda Beauty one. To put a little bit because it is very high coverage. And now I'm gonna be shaking this because it has a little bit of serum. And adding some of this as well. And let's blend them together. Foundation is all set. And now we're gonna go and use the Maybelline A Instant Age Rewind Instant Age Rewind Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 110 Fair. And we're gonna be applying this under the eye and on the eyelids. Make sure that the eyeshadow sticks to the eyelids. So, to set the concealer and the foundation, I'll be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So, I'll be taking a fluffy brush like this and make sure you dab the concealer in the creases of your eye so that you don't have any um, creases forming and then you set it with the powder like this and because we put concealer underneath the eye as well we're gonna put a little bit underneath the eye Now we're going to move to the next eye. And underneath the eye. Okay. And make sure that we have enough light here. Perfect. Nice and bright. Okay, so now the face is all set. So we're gonna go into, let me use a wipe. Wipe this foundation 
off my lip. Okay. Now I will be opening, let's see here, the palette, Morphe Jeffree Star palette. It's called the Artistry palette. And there's a picture of him on the back. Love it. So excited for this palette. So let's see. It comes in this bubble wrap right here, like this. Ta-da! You guys ready? I'm sure most of you have seen this on YouTube already, but I'm so excited for it. We're gonna be doing two looks with this. Let's see. So it comes with a nice huge mirror and here's the palette. Let me take this off, protecting film, film, whatever it's called. Look at this, shadows, beautiful. You see? So I think I wanna do a green look on one eye and a purple pinkish look on another let's do two different looks let me swatch some of this on my hand custom rims let's swatch this nice silvery one that matches my shirt look at this see this so nice and then let's see which other ones should we swatch hmm let's try this nice green this is a matte color. So I'm gonna do something with this color on my eye, on one of my eyes. See, beautiful. Uh, let's swatch another sparkly one. This is the Glam Rapids one right here. Beautiful. A nice sparkly, shiny. Okay, so. Let's go into the Morphe and Jeffree Star um, brushes. Okay, so it comes like this, and it comes with 10 brushes in here. Okay, this is what they look like. And this one here is for your eyebrows. Combing your eyebrows, I guess. So we're gonna be using, let's see, go here. I'll be going into this one, Morphe and Jeffree Star JS6 um, brush. And I'll be going into this eyeshadow. It's called the Wake and Bake, right here. Oh, pigmented. And we're gonna be using green on the left eye pink and purple on the right eye. So we'll be using this as a transition color. Let's see here. Oh. Very nice soft green. So we're putting, putting this in above the crease for now. Okay. And I'll be using on top above the crease right here. I'll be using the 1985 shade right here. And use it, it's more of a transition color. Okay. And go back into this green here. Make this more intense. Okay. So now I'll be using the same brush and I'll be going into this green right here. It's called Nate. Okay. I'll be focusing it in the crease and outer corner.
Mm, I love green. Green is one of my favorite colors. Okay, I'll go back into the wake and wake and bake right here. And we'll put it above this sharp green that we just created in the crease, just above the crease a bit to blend the colors a little bit better. Okay, so I'll be using this bake, wake and bake shadow and bringing it down in the lower black. Let's see, I need two mirrors. Close up. Wow, they blend so beautiful. As you can see. Okay, let's grab this blending brush. Or the lower lash line now I'll be using this little little brush it is the JS 13 you see how little this and we're gonna put it into this Nate shade and we're gonna use it on the bottom lash line up to the middle of the eye only intensify this bottom lash line a bit more Let's do this one Good. Now, I'll be going into this card. Let's see which one. I'll try this one, the drive through. Use my finger and I'll put this ooh, in the middle towards, towards the outer part of the eye. Like this. Let's see. Now, I'm gonna blend it in with the other greens. It looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so there's one eye with the greens. We used the Wake and Bake, Nate, and Drive Through right here. These three shades. And I'm thinking in the inner corner, I'll be using the Glam Rapids right here and put it in the inner corner. So I'll be using a different brush here. I think this is by MAC, the 239S brush. Let's see. Just to highlight the inner corner a bit. Look at that. I'm using the same one for the upper eyebrow right here. Okay, I'll be using the 1985 a little bit more to kind of bring all these colors together. Like this. So this eye look is complete. Now we're gonna go move to this eye and we're gonna be working with, I'll be going into the back. It's called the back um, transition color. So I'll be using this color as my transition color. Ooh, very pigmented. So I'll be using this for this higher part of my eye. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Okay, now we have so many pinks. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Morphe JS9 brush and I'll go into the self-made, this pink right here. Ooh, look how pigmented it is. And I'll be putting it just above my crease, trying anyways. Above my crease. And 
let's see. And let's try the pink fleet right here and bring this inside the crease. Oh. Bring this right inside the crease right here. And now whatever's left on the brush, we're going to use it and kind of blend these two. Together. Good. Now for the darker shade, I'll be using the same brush and going into Mogul right here, this shade right here. It's like a darker pinkish purple wineish color. Okay. I'm using it in the outer corner of the eye right here and probably bring it all over the lid just like what we did with the green okay now let's use the first brush to use the transition and kind of diffuse this sharp color here okay oh I love this look luckily I'm not going anywhere today because <laughs> I have one green eye one pink eye and now on the bottom lower lash line I guess we can use the same green the same brush it's the JS 13 brush this is a little guy and go into this pink the self-made one right here and bring it in the lower lash line right here I'm we'll going in the same Where's my pink brush? Oh, here it is. This pink brush, and this we're gonna go into the pink fleet right here. I'm gonna blend this bottom lash line. You see how nice it all blends together and connects with the upper eyelid. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, now for something sparkly in the middle. Hmm, let's see. Let's see if you can see this. I'm trying to swatch this. Don't know her. It's this shade right here. But it might be too... Let's see. You see? It might be too pinkish for... Hmm. Maybe I'll combine this too. So I'll combine the Don't Know Her with Custom Rims. These two together. And we're going to add that in the middle of the eyelid. Let's see how that will look. Just to kind of give it more sparkles. There you go. You can see it better. Can you see that? Just so now I'll go in the first brush again and then we're gonna kind of blend this sparkly color with the rest of the eyelid. Okay. Now for the inner corner, lost it. Oh, here it is. Ah, let's see. I'll be using the T0 right here. I'm gonna go into this one. I'm gonna be going in the inner corner to highlight the inner corner. Move down a bit, and I'm using the same one for the upper eyelid under the brow bone. Beautiful. There 
you go. So we've used the self-made pink fleet mogul. We don't know her with the custom rims together. So you can see a little bit of shimmer because this was a bit too similar to the, the pinks. And the T0 for the inner and the underneath the brow bone. Uh, there's the look with this. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on because this is a boring part. And I'll be using the Lancome um, Hypnose Drama Pure Black in the shade. What does it say here? No shade. It's just pure black. So basically, it looks like this. Show you guys, see? So I'll be using this and I will be right back. Okay, so mascara is on. Big difference, you can see. Okay, now we are gonna move on. Actually, let's finish the rest of the face. So for my bronzer, I'll be using the Wonder Beauty Trip 42, which has a blush and a bronzer all in one. This came in one of my boxy charms. So, Let's use some blush. So I'll be going into the Belidi blush from the same uh, Wonder palette. On the cheeks. Smile and put on top of the cheeks. Okay. Just like that. You don't want to put too much with this type of eye look because you're going to look like a clown. Nothing wrong with clowns. I'm just saying. Let's blend all everything together. You noticed I didn't use any powder because the I have drier skin and I'm using um, the Huda Beauty uh, foundation which is pretty long lasting and very pigmented so okay why do I have so much hair tickling me today and yeah I don't need to put powder because then my face will become cakey and I don't like that and now I'll be going into the L'Oreal true match what is it Lumi powder glow illuminator blush and highlight all in one so i'll be using the this one comes with a nice cute mirror and this little brush thing but i've never used a brush i like to use something like this something fluffy like this so this is the real techniques 402 brush and i'll be dipping kind of like everywhere might as well use this mirror now and just highlight So beautiful, such a nice glow. Okay, so the same I'll be doing for the top of my nose. And the top of my lip. Okay, and a little bit here. I like to always add a little bit here. And let's add just a little bit more here. I love highlight. I think highlighting it changes the look, makes it so much better. Okay, now let's go ahead and open the next package, which is the Morphe and Jeffree Star Iconic Nudes Collection. It's a five-piece mini lip collection. It says this collection will have you shoot Jeffree Star's iconic liquid lippies, meet Morphe's high shine glosses, going nude has never looked so good. So 
In this one, we have the Velour Liquid Lipstick in Mannequin. Let's see if it says the names on the lipstick. So it comes like this. Let's hope they're not going to fall out. <gasps> look, this is so cute because look, three of them, they have the Morphe um, top, like, you know, the Morphe lipsticks. And this have the two round lipsticks. Cute. I love it. And I like because they're so little. This is how they look. You see? They're so little that you can put them in your purse. So let's see. Oh, it says right here. So this is Slurp Lip Topper. Okay. So let's see. It's like this. There's this little small applicator. And let's see if you guys can see it. See? You just basically use it as a lip topper. I don't, I don't find like it has any smell. Let me make sure I clean my lips. Okay, now we have, that was slurp. Now we have first impressions lip gloss. Looks like this. Let's open this guy up. It's just like a lip gloss, I have a feeling. See, it's very shiny, lip gloss. Mm, I like it. So let's see. Next one is the Star Crown Lip Gloss. It's this guy right here. Okay, matches my nails today. And again, the same applicator, small applicator. Let's see. Nice brown, light brown peach color. Oh. Next one are this round ones, and this is the mannequin one. It's like this. Oh. Look at that. Cute. Hmm, I wonder which one I'm going to use today. And this is the Leo one. The Leo. I like them all. This look like is the darkest one, you see? Okay, so I think for this look, I'm gonna be using this one right here. If I remember which one it was, I think it's this one. It's the Star Crown. Let's try it, okay? Let's see how it looks. Okay, these are so cute. Look how tiny they are. Okay, and I think on top, I'll add another sparkly one. And I have too much sparkles. Oopsies. Okay, I'll add the slurp one. Let's see how this will look. More sparkles. Oh, this is so gorgeous on the lips. Look at that. Love it. This is, I think this is my favorite out of them all. On the lips anyways, from the ones I've tried. See? This one, the Slurp. There you go. Okay, so final touch up. We're gonna be using some um, setting spray to set the whole face up. I'll be using my favorite, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray right here. Give it a good shake and spray. Oh, so refreshing every time. And now a trick that I've learned is you take your sponge and you slowly dab your face so that everything sets in and lasts longer. Slowly and gently. There you go. What do you guys think? You know, I would love for you guys to comment down below and tell me which look is 
Which eye is your favorite eye? The pink one or the green one? And if you really like this lipsticks by Morphe and Jeffree Star, right here, let me know which one is your favorite color, okay? So let me let me know down below in the comment section. So yeah. So final thoughts on this palette. I really, really enjoy it. I'm happy that it has a big, nice mirror. This says Morphe and Jeffree Star. It's pink. It's easy to carry. And it has all this shades in here. Nice mattes, nice shimmers, some cool tones, some warm tones. It has a nice black that you can do a black eyeliner with. Very simple with a just all over the lid shimmery um, silver and you're good to go so yes i really really love this palette and i really recommend it and of course the lipsticks are lip glosses slash lipsticks are great i really love this they're very they're not sticky they seem very nice on the lips and the colors are very neutral you can wear it with any type of eye look and I like them because they're minis, they're very small and I can just put, put them in my purse whenever I go or easy to carry when you travel. So yeah, I would recommend this as well. I really love them, cute pink tops. So yeah, that's my review on um, the Morphe and Jeffree Star collection. And the brushes, of course, brushes are amazing as usual and cute pink pouch with cute pink brushes in here, 10 brushes. I really love it, so I would really recommend them as well. Yeah, so that's my thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it. If you really enjoyed my video, thank you so, so much for watching and stopping by and taking time to watch my video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified of any of my upcoming videos um yeah thank you for stopping by i wish you guys a wonderful day and stay safe and i'll see you in my next video bye